Hello everyone. In this video I'll be demonstrating how to use React without the help of JSX. So let's get started. Here I'll create an file and name it index.html. I'll add some HTML5 code snippets using Themit. I'll update the title of the document to pure React app. Let's run this on the browser. I can see the title of the document has been updated to pure React app. Next, let's load the React from a CDN. I'll grab these two links, the React and the React DOM packages. I'll add them in my HTML document. I'll create a div tag and give the ID as root. I'll add a script tag and I'll create a new file. I'll name it app.js. I'll write a function named app. This will return react.create element. The first argument will be the tag name that is h3 and I don't want to pass any prop to it so I'll just mark it as an empty object and inside h3 I want a message pure react. To render this I need to say react dom dot render. And pass my app element here. The second argument will be the target node on the document where I need to mount this. Let's see on the browser. I can see the message pure react. I can see it is rendered inside the root. I'll create a new functional component. I'll name it as greet user. This will return a div container. To make it easy, I'll create a constant named element that will reference to react.create element so that I don't have to repeat react.create element multiple times. So I'll say element, I'll pass the first argument as my div tag and I don't have any props here. And inside div, there'll be a two elements. The first element will be an input tag and my input tag needs two props that is value and on change event handler. I don't and I don't want to render anything inside input so I'll pass it as null and the next element is a paragraph tag and I don't have any props here and the paragraph tag will say hello and the username I'll create a new state for this. I'll name it the username and set username to update it. This will be equal to react.useState and I'll initialize it with an empty string. This username state will be passed on to value prop. I'll create a new function. I'll name it on input change handler. This function will be called whenever there is a change on input.
this function will receive an event and I'll set username to event.target.pally I use this create user element inside my app component. Let's see this on the browser. I'll type something in the input box. I can see the paragraph tag is getting updated. Let's see in the tag too. I can see the paragraph tag is updated with the username. Let's go to the react tag tool. I'll enable the option to highlight on the rendering. I can see as I type re-rendering is happening. I can also update the state from my React F2. Awesome, it works. So we were able to build a small React app without using JSX. JSX is a syntactic sugar for function calls, which makes easy to work with virtual DOM. That's all folks. Thank you.